Hi guys! So today I am 13 weeks and 3 days pregnant and that's really cool because I'm officially in the second trimester in everybody's book. I'm officially in the second trimester. So that's really cool. First of all, I want to say thank you to Paige for giving me a shout out in her one of her last videos and, and just telling people to come check out my videos. I really appreciate that and what she said was really sweet and Paige is really sweet too. She's really, 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 really nice and she's definitely helped out a lot, a lot of people. And so if you haven't for some reason seen her videos, go check out her. Her, her name is Paige X Core and she's awesome and she's really sweet also. So this week I have um, had a couple different like things that have been like, or, like just like my body's changing. My body's like, I don't know, it's like, it's like starting to all happen, I guess. Um, one of the main things is that, um, I think I said this in an earlier video, but it's like happening more now. But um, I've always had a really, really, really deep belly button. Like, it went like for days, like it would always, it like, I don't know, it's like you couldn't find the end of it, and I can see it, <laughs> which is like, it's not like popping out or anything, but I can see my belly button, like the bottom of it, and that's really weird because I've never seen the bottom of my belly button before. <laughs> and also, my stomach has been getting hard, like around the sides and on up more than it was before, and so that's really cool also, that's just really, I don't know, it's just like, it's all happening. And um, then one of the downsides is that I'm really breaking out. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, those, these hormones are really making me break out. And also my sickness that I was having, and I, I, I know that in one of my past videos I said that it was starting to go away. And um, it's really starting to go away now. Like, I'll barely ever be, or feel sick. I will once in a while, but it'll go away. Like soon after so that's really good <laughs> that's not starting to go away so hopefully it'll completely disappear pretty soon so I got some questions last week uh, from a couple different people so the first question was how did I tell my parents I got this question a couple times and um, my parents are divorced but they're but they're both remarried and I live with my mom I live with my mom and my stepdad and my mom is a teacher she's a sixth grade teacher and she was away at sixth grade camp and I don't know if you guys know what that is but um sixth grade camp is like it's also called outdoor red I think it's only in California they might have things like it outside of California but um what it is is that the sixth graders go to a camp for it's supposed to be a week but since with budget cuts and everything it's only three days so she was gone um at outdoor red with her students and, and she went Wednesday through Friday and I found out that I was pregnant on Thursday and so she uh, so I whenever I found out um, I took like a hundred tests <laughs> to make sure it was it was like true and then right whenever she got back she called me she she works in Turlock and we live in Modesto so um, she called me saying that she was home and I was like mom I went to the doctor yesterday and I'm pregnant because <laughs> I didn't want to wait for her to like get home I guess I just kind of wanted to tell her as soon as I could talk to her um, and she was just like you're kidding me <laughs> but she said a different word <laughs> And then after after she said that, and after she said that, she just s started saying all the positive things about how I've been with my boyfriend for f almost four years, and I'll be 18, and just I'll be graduated and stuff like that. So she started naming all the positives, and then she's like, "This is probably bad, but I'm kind of excited." <laughs> so I was like, "That's pretty cool." And then um, she just told my stepdad um, that wasn't really like a big deal. Then as for my biological dad. This, I, I call him Papa, I, don't, I just always have, I've always called him Papa. And um, I just, I don't, I'm supposed to go over to his house like every two weeks, but I, I don't, I kind of don't. <laughs> I didn't really know how to tell him. Um, I didn't really, to be honest, I kind of didn't really care what he thinks. Uh, he really dislikes Gabe, he always has. And um, so what I did is, this is really bad, I know, you, you guys can criticize me, but I texted him and I told him, um, I was like, hey, what are you doing right now? And he was like, I'm about to fly home, because he's a pilot kind of person thing. 
And um, I was like, oh, well, I just want to I just want to let you know that I just found out I'm pregnant. And so so call me whenever you get home. Love you. <laughs> and that's really bad of me. But like, I don't know. It was it was really it kind of wasn't really a big deal to him. He was just like, oh, wow, that's surprising or something like that. <laughs> he said something weird like that. But anyway, so that's what I how I told my parents. <laughs> Someone asked me. How has your relationship with Gabe changed with this pregnancy? Um, well, we're, we're not that far into it, but so far, um, I think we've really got to, gotten to see the true side of each other, I guess. Uh, a lot of people say that whenever, like, whenever they found out, like, oh, it brought us closer and stuff like that. And, um, I don't, I don't really think it's brought, brought us closer, but it's not done anything to harm our relationship. So it's just kind of a, I guess it's just kind of a change. I mean, the way that I see it, I think I've said this before also, is that um, we were we were planning on getting married anyway, and uh, we've always wanted kids. And so I just see it as, it, it just happened a little, a little earlier than expected. So that's just the way that I look at it. And so I don't think it really has um, had that much of an influence on our relationship towards each, towards each other anyway. Okay, someone else asked me, they said, um, like, I see that you wear a ring. Are you engaged? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> well, kind of. Like, okay. Um, as some of you know, me and Gabe have been together for three and a half years. Well, three, three years and seven months or something like that. And in April, we will have been together for four years. And, um, for a couple years now, we wear what's called a promise ring. And it's just kind of a promise to each other. It's kind of like an engagement ring, I guess you could say, but um, it's like we're promised to each other instead of being engaged to each other. But I mean, he's asked me to marry him, like, not really jokingly, but not really serious. But, um, so yeah, we call it a promise ring. He has one too. I'll show you guys what it looks like. really pretty it's white gold or the silver part is white gold and then that's just cubic zirconian I believe <laughs> and you got it from Walmart and it's like really cute I love it I personally love this ring this is like I don't need those big fancy ones I'm just good with something like this if you guys haven't already um, go to the sidebar whichever way it is and click the link to go guess um, my baby's gender and height and weight and birth date. And then whenever I actually find out what I'm having and whenever I actually have the baby, um, I'll hopefully I'll be able to go back and look at that and be like, oh yeah, so-and-so, you were the closest or something like that. So that'd be, I think that's really cool. Maybe I'll send you like a card or something. <laughs> also, we just, my dad just put in the tile in the nursery so that's really cool so the walls are painted green and there's tile on the floor and we can officially start putting furniture in there so that's good we can get the crib out of the garage and put it in the room um and the la what we have left to do is one decorate it <laughs> and two whenever I find out what I'm having on January 16th after I find out I am going to paint the baseboards and around the doors and stuff like that, um, either pink or blue, depending on what it's ha what I'm having. So it'll be either a pink and green room, or wait, a pink and green room, or a blue and green room, which is those are my th those are my three favorite colors. If you haven't picked up on that. <laughs>